Huh? I'm a Mac. Farlin. And I'm a starting lineup. Well, hey, starting lineup. How you doing? What you thinking about? Um, I was just remembering the good old days when I was the number one pick in the fantasy football draft. Well, yeah, I know what you mean. It feels really good to be the number one pick on a lot of people's draft boards. Well, at least my memories don't come at a price. Come at a price? What do you mean, starting lineup? Well, look at you. You're huge. I mean, your head's so big, you've got to get your helmets from Steve Kraft. I don't think I like what you're saying, starting lineup. Come on, steroid boy. Where are you hiding the clear and the cream? Alright, that's it. Let's get him, boys. Hi, I'm Jockstrap. And I'm Pat McGroin. You know, usually about this time of year, we get together and show everybody a video that has us commenting on the upcoming fantasy football draft and pretty much making fun of everybody in the league. This year, we decided to do something a little different. We have a little bit of different angle this year for the video, and we hope that you will enjoy it but we hope that you will also learn something. Last year taught us a few good lessons. One is that you have great friends that surround you, but when great friends begin to whine and complain, they begin to, well, frankly, get on your nerves a little bit. We had a couple situations that caused tremendous drama last year, and we decided this year we were going to take an emotional angle. We're going to come at you today with something serious. Are you prepared for that? I hope so. We're going to show today an episode of the Dr. Phil Show that I think will be very vital to the existence of the fantasy football. We hope you enjoy. take my shoes off? No, it's all right. All right. I'm so glad you're here. I hope it's not too late. I just can't figure him out. Look at him over there. Uh, I think he's just become the victim of his latest invention, the dreaded Keeper League, and it's just been driving me nuts. 
Every year he's run all these kind of leagues and it's been fine. He doesn't get a whole lot of credit for it, but he's been taking it all in stride mm -hmm. and nothing's been wrong, but this year it's completely, completely different. Um, he's been sitting about six days straight on that computer waiting for the guy to, to make their next pick and that Boston guy, he's been on there for 16 hours and he just won't even leave the chair. Well, what you need to do here, you need to allow your vulnerabilities and weaknesses to come on through. See, we're all weak in some ways, but you need to learn not to be dependent on your weaknesses. Uh, I'm talking about that head case. Oh, okay. So what seems to be the problem here? These idiots will not make their picks. No, no, you don't understand me. What do you need from me today? A hundred bucks would be nice. That's not going to happen. Do I have stupid written all over my face? No, but you, you do have a little bit of ketchup on the side of it there. Well, let me ask you, do you resent your children? What, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, sorry, wrong show. In order to help you, I'm going to need to know what the problem is. So out with it, man. What's the problem? Look, I don't know what you're talking about. You can't change what you don't acknowledge. A, K, C. Is that a C or a K? Never mind. I'll tell you why I called you, Dr. Phil. I just don't know Steve anymore. He's just not right. Well, we got to start here. What are the truths you believe about yourself when no one else is around? Will you just stop all this psychobabble and fix him? i got to be real honest with you, Dr. Phil. I am a very, very good commissioner. I mean, I am fair. I am witty. I post on the website. I made up the rules. I'm really good looking. And I never get a fair shake. Man, I want to have the best fantasy football league in the world. No, I want to have the best fantasy football league in the galaxy. I mean, I want to be, I want it to be like an empire. I want to be like a Sith Lord. All right, well, if we're going to continue here, I've got to have one rule in place. You've got to see no more Star Wars references. That's a little too weird even for me. You know, Dr. Phil, it all started last year when a bunch of the owners in the league just had this crazy, psychotic behavior. So, I just didn't know what to do. It was like nobody was even listening to what I had to say. Hey, you're going to have to hold on a minute there, Sean. Got a call coming in. Uh, it's Steve. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hello? Right now? You got to be kidding Okay, I, I'll have the tuna salad. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Coleslaw, I guess. I'll have the coleslaw. Doesn't really matter. I don't want to eat it anyways. Yeah. Well, what are you getting? Oh, see. I always order the wrong thing anyways. So, like I was saying... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cherry Coke. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Well, sorry about that. Uh, what were you saying? As I was saying, last year in the Fantasy Football Leagues, all of them, there was a lot of drama. I was a little bit hesitant. I was a little bit worried about all of this going into this season. And Dr. Phil, it has started again. People are already complaining about how long it takes us to draft for the Keeper League. There's even this guy, we'll call his name Dino. He's not even in the league and he's piling it on. Dr. Phil, I just want this to be a stress-free season. Sometimes I just want to quit. <laughs>